What's going on everybody? So we just came out with the everything there is to know about Timberland boots video and a lot of you guys were asking me how to properly lace these things. So today we are going to be going over just that. I'm going to give you guys a couple options. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. Alright guys, in front of me I have a factory lace pair of Timberlands right here and first things first, you are going to want to unlace them completely. So let's just go ahead and do that. So right now we have a fresh start and what you are going to want to do for the first set of lace holes right here is go out to in rather than in to out. And right here we have a shoe that is not properly done and these go from in to out as you guys can see. So cue the editor to put the uh, red X over this one right here because this is not how you properly do it. This actually applies for a lot of sneakers as well. You want to go out to in for the first set of lace hoops, not on just boots, on any other sneaker. So you go from out to in like that like so and the next thing you want to do is definitely match the lace length when it comes to both sides right here this is really important because when you are going to get to the top you don't want one lot longer than the other so you're just gonna See, so this one needs a little bit less, so you're just gonna adjust a little bit. So now that we have both sides of the lace matched up right here, what we are gonna do is fill in the next two holes and so we went over the top to begin with and now we are gonna go underneath the bottom like so Boom. And the reason you do skip this hole right here is because if you were to do every single hole, by the time you do get to the top, there's not going to be enough lace to do a proper knot. So what we are going to do is skip that right there. And I would say Timberlands are the one shoe where if you do skip the hole, it doesn't really look awkward. I would say like with Jordans or even Yeezys and whatnot, if you are skipping a hole, it's going to look a little off. But with the Timberlands, it looks actually right. So now that we skip that hole, that's going to allow you enough slack on the laces to do a proper knot at the top. Some people like to go all the way to the top. I know Kanye, he likes to go all the way to the top right here. For myself, I like the boots to be really loose. And have enough lacing to do a proper knot right here. Bam. So it's pretty simple right there. All you're going to do is fill in the first one over the top, next two underneath the bottom, and then skip a hole, and then you are going to have enough lacing to do a proper knot right here. And I would say this is the most common way to really tie your Tims. A lot of people like to leave them loosey-goosey and not tie them up, but I would say with that, you know, you're not going to feel like you have a secure boot on your foot. But if you are going to do the loosey-goosey route, I would recommend going one lace hole up, and that way your laces don't drag all over the floor. So right now we have it loosey-goosey and it's not gonna drag on the floor. One thing to prevent it from unraveling is actually putting a couple simple knots at the end right here. And it's not too noticeable. These are pretty thin laces, so it's not gonna look like a huge knot right here. So, bam, tie the ends like so. It's gonna act like a stopper. And that way you still get the loosey-goosey feel while still keeping your laces somewhat secure. I know a Kanye man, I've seen him do it all sorts of ways, but one thing he's really popular for is lacing his Timberlands all the way to the top, which in my opinion looks a little weird sometimes. He kind of makes them look like military boots or something, but for myself, I like Timberlands to give off more of a laid back, kickback type feel, and I feel like having the laces a little bit looser definitely pulls that off. So you have the option of doing the loosey-goosey with the secure knot right here, or you could tie them, and that's pretty much it. Please leave down in the comments below some ways that you guys lace your Timberland boots up and if you guys have any more questions about these how to style them make sure you guys check out the other video that I did everything there is to know about Timberland boots and that's pretty much it and until next time I'm out peace alright guys thank you for checking out that quick tutorial on how to lace your Timberland boots up please leave down in the comments below if there are any other shoes or sneakers that you guys want me to show you a tutorial on how to lace up um, and that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys check out this video. Also check out this video. This is the Timberland video that we did explaining everything there's to know about these boots. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.